Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own custom overlays. In this tutorial, I'll be using Pixlr E, so I'll leave a link down in the description box if you need it. Okay, so now you can search up for an overlay. I just searched up for a snowflake overlay, but you can search up for whatever you want, obviously. Um, then head over to images and try to find um, one you like. This part like took me a while. I have no idea why, but like I really couldn't find one I liked. Anyway, um, when you find one you like, you just want to like press right click it and then press copy image. Now head over to Pixlr E and press create new. Then just choose a size. I just picked the thumbnail um, size, but you can like um, choose the icon one it doesn't really matter then you want to paste your overlay so do that by clicking Control plus v on your keyboard then to move it around press the cursor icon on your left and from there you can like size it uh, down or up and you can also center it if you want um, now what I'll be doing is I'm going to be going to select and then pressing select pixels so now I I'm adding like a gradient color so do that by um, pressing the gradient tool on your left and you can also change the colors by pressing the, um, re the rectangle type of shape at the top I'm just doing a blue that fades to a white but you can do whatever you want and then you could like drag your um, mouse to like whatever direction you want the gradient to be I guess then you could press deselect after you like what it looks like so now what I'll be doing is going to filter at the top and then pressing inner glow. This is just um, adding like an inner type of outline that makes your overlay pop. So what I usually like to do is make it darker than the original color of the overlay. So then, and then like I turn up the feather all the way up, but the opacity I turn it lower so it's like not as vibrant. And for the size, you can play around until like play around with it until you like what it looks like then i'll be adding a bevel a bevel is kind of like an inner glow but it's like a shiny type of um like outline so um just do that and then what i like doing is just selecting the same color of the overlay i'll be turning the highlight color all the way up and then you could kind of just play around with it to see like how you like it because this part is pretty fun Now I like to add drop shadow so go to filter at the top and then press drop shadow and basically I like to turn up the opacity all the way up and the blur all the way down to zero and I like to just make it a darker color of the original color if that makes sense so in this case it would just be like a darker blue or like a navy blue and then you could play around with the offset x and offset y this is just like basically telling you how visible you can see or like where to place it um, like behind the snowflake then I'm just add I'm going to be adding like um, an outline so go to filter again and then just press um, outline and for the outline you can choose whatever color but I just I want it to be white and for the size i like to like it depends on the overlay but i like to have it around like five to ten and then when you're done with that you can just press apply last thing i'll be doing is just going over to filter again and adding an outer glow for the outer glow i'm just gonna have it be like a darker color so it kind of like has um like a glow behind the whole overlay I'm just making it blue and then having the feather go all the way up and then turning the opa you can turn the opacity down if you want to and change the size as well but after you're done all that just press apply 